So now we're just going to take a, a brief look at some programs and applications that we use in SAD4. So we can't possibly include every single item here. And if you think uh, there's another item that needs to be included, uh, just email the help desk at sad4.org with your last name and then tech program in here. So we have Clever. Clever is a single sign-on service, uh, and it lets you access other apps in the instance of Clever, like BrainPop, Lexia, Spelling City, um, and those are listed here. So there may be some other apps we are eligible for through Clever, but we don't have them. Those are what we have. But if you want to see one, you know, you think it should be through Clever, let me know. Send an email to the help desk, last name, Clever app, and then the app name. Email and G Suite. So SAD4 uses Gmail as an email service. Okay, most of you know that anyway. But you might be new. You might be just learning about this. I would encourage you to uh, learn about the Google for Education trainings and get some training there. Maybe even become a Google certified educator, which again, I will support uh, however I can. So if you want to become Google certified, please send an email to the help desk and I will try to support that. Um... Edusked, that's something we have used in grades 5 through 12, um, and it's an intervention program. Atlas Rubicon, this is where we keep all of our curriculum. Here's the link to sign in, so if you get a little bit lost. Um, and then if you don't know your Atlas Rubicon login credentials or you need courses added or dropped or whatever, send an email to the help desk, last name Atlas Course, or last name Atlas Credentials. And then... Once you log in, you can actually click the support drop down for help getting started. So that will be, you know, a good help for you. PowerSchool. For teachers to log in, go to PowerSchool. The link's right here. Administrators right here. Uh, and then for students and parents to log into PowerSchool, it's a different one yet. So it's right here. But I, I included it just in case you're working with parents uh, and they need to know how to get in. And then if you aren't sure of your username or password for PowerSchool, just type last name, PowerSchool login info. And then I have a tutorial for PCES and PCSS teachers. Uh, it may, the interface may look a little bit different. They they have changed it pretty significantly. I think it'll still work, but if you find you get in here and things look different, please send an email to the help desk at sad4.org. Let me know what's different, um, and I can go in and try, hopefully make some adjustments. Orgo Math, students in K5 are using this. And then the MS84 website. Okay, so MS84 website can be accessed here. Uh, and then password protected intranet for SAD4 is, is here. And you might find some important information in there. So you can go in and, um, and have a look.